Hello, this is Factor X from Pixelsmasher.com, and I want to show you how to mod Resident Evil 5. The guys over at the Resident Evil 4 and 5 modding forums have been hard at work, and I also have a link to that in the description. So let's get started here. The first thing you need are the tools that uh, the Resident Evil 5 modding community has provided to you. So that's also in the description. Uh, you open up the tools.rar, and we have all those tools you need there, okay? So the first tool we're going to use is the Quick BMS tool. Let's open up our Resident Evil 5 tools here. Go to Quick BMS, select the EXE. Okay, so let's go to our desktop. And we have it in RE5 tools. That's the second thing uh, that's in the toolkit we provide to you. So we want to click on the extract one because we want to extract the files, right? So let's hit open. Alright, so now we got to browse to our Resident Evil 5 folder. Go. And benchmark. Alright, so once you get there, you go to Native PC, go to Image, Archive, and you can select any ARC file you want, but for this purpose, we're obviously going to skin Chris, right? So let's find Chris. Okay, so conveniently named for us, and Chev is also named, as you can see, over here. And these are all my backups, but uh, we'll get to that later. Okay. So let's hit open, go to my desktop, and hit save. Okay, select all, you just type all there, okay, and there we go. So now we have everything extracted, and it's conveniently converted to DDS for us, which is a texture format. So we have the effects. Here, let me get this uh, easier for you to see. These are the three folders that were extracted from the ARC file from Chris. So he, Chris's models are in the pawn folder. Go to player, PL00, and the model has all the textures and everything. Uh, this is just like a nav file and whatnot. So, okay, as you can see, they're in DDS. So let's open up, for this example, I'll do the face. Now, to open up DDS textures, uh, you're going to need some program. I use Photoshop. I'm sure there's others out there, so uh, you're going to need to have a program that can do that. Okay, so there's his face, and let's just have some fun real quick. Uh, since I did a Darth Vader mod, you know, we'll just have some fun here. Why not, huh? Do -do -do. Yeah, here's my cheap trick to make a scar, huh? You know my secret. Alright, and then we just take the burn tool. Burn it in like that. Oh my god, he has a crazy scar. There, okay. Now we move it below it, and now we can smudge it. Alright. As you can see, I'm just smudging behind it to get that, like, deepening effect there for the scar. Here, let me zoom in a little more. Well, that looks nasty, huh? Alright, so that's similar to one I have already in the game for my Darth Vader mod. Alright, yeah, nothing major. You know, whatever works, right? Okay, so when you save, uh, you want to select DDS. Now, right now, we're not sure uh, the exact uh, format that it needs to be saved in for mitmaps, so obviously all the uh, regular texture files oh, got a glitch there. obviously all the regular texture files are DXT1 and the bump maps are DXT5 because they have an alpha so uh, right now generate, we have all selected, uh, we're not exactly sure of the exact setting to select, that's why we have to use the other tool, Compressinator so just save your DDS as DXT1 if it's a regular texture file like any other program Okay. And there we go. Okay, so just to show you what a bump map looks like, there you go. And if we wanted to uh, duplicate that somehow, all right, I'll just take a s quick example. Here's the face texture we have. Um, all right, so we go. For example, Nvidia has their normal map filters, so you can just select that. And what you do is you go to channels, select the green one. Select the green one, and go here, and you have to go to the channels on the other one, paste it into green. You can do the same for the alpha. So now, guess what? It's pink. 
And that's all you gotta do for boat maps. Okay, so let's open up our another handy tool, which is Compressinator. So you would install Compressinator, and I already have it installed. So I'm gonna launch Compressinator, here we go. And we're gonna drag this into Compressinator. Hey, hi, there you are again. So let's generate our MIP maps. Okay. You have to select one to one, by the way. You can't do anything else. Just do one to one. That's all we know that works. And obviously DXT1 right there. Okay. DXT5s are only for the bump maps, like I said, because they have alphas. All right. So we compressed it. Hooray! It does this. And save compressed. Okay. And you want to overwrite the one you already had. Very nice. And now we go back to quick BMS which we had open from the R, uh, RE5 tools. Let's go back to quick BMS. Okay. And all these mods are by uh, Trucks. I think I said his name right. Um, sorry if I didn't. So he's, he's been doing all these uh, BMS scripts and everything so yeah you gotta give him credit. Uh, and don't forget to visit the modding site. So let's see. We want to go to our, our Resident Evil 5 tools and select the converter. So that's what we want to do. Convert our DDS back to TEX. So let's open that. Okay. So let's select our DDS file. Hey, there it is. The one with high. Okay. Um, we're going to save it to our desktop. Okay. Well, would you look at that? It's a TEX. Amazing. Now, we're not quite finished yet. We have one more thing to do. Actually, two more things. Sorry, I lied. Okay. Um, go back to our Capcom folder. Native PC. And what we need to do is we need to make a pawn folder. Here, okay. Now, I have everything extracted. But you don't necessarily need to do it unless you have an arc that... I'll explain it later. <laughs> but I have everything extracted. Um, if you want, you can do this. There's um, another script I, I will include so that you can extract it, but unconverted. Okay, so you want to keep the structure in the pawn folder that was extracted. You see, this was the file that was extracted, and you keep the same structure. Now, go back to Native PC, the image folder, archive, and we'll go down to... Chris again. Okay, as you can see, I have backups of these. Um, so what we need is a hex editor now, okay? Uh, there used to be more hex editing involved, but now there's less, so this is just the tip of the iceberg with hex editing. Um, so basically, uh, I use HXD. It's a free one if you want. Use whatever hex editor you want. And I'm going to open HXD. I do not have this included in the toolkit because it's you know really up to the user what they want to use okay so as you can see there's a bunch of stuff here so what you do is you hit rename on it copy it without the extension and hit control F oh, don't want to do that do not want to do that okay hit <laughs> control F and you find it okay oh well I did it this one too okay let's find one we can't find then sorry <laughs> Uh, for instance, say we were doing the harness, okay. Yeah, so we found the harness one, because the face I already removed. And all you got to do is type A, or something like that, as you can see. So you just rename it so it's no longer looking for it in the archive. It's looking for it in the uh, actual pawn folder. And then you would hit File and Save, okay? And I don't want to save right now because uh, I already have one that's removed everything. All right. So now you want to take your texture and put it in that pawn folder in native PC and keep the structure, like I said before. And there you go. Okay, and that about wraps up our tutorial. Uh, don't forget to visit those websites I mentioned, and happy modding.